So real quick while I'm waiting for one of my other things that I'm working on to finish up, I just wanted to go over these real quick. Uh, these are Retro 6's new uh, Game Boy Advance SP battery packs that are allegedly 850 milliamp hours. To me, I thought they looked awful like the uh, cheapo aftermarket uh, like those Chinese cells that you order. At least from the pictures, that's what I thought, but the color of the casing is quite different. And, oh, here it is. Set my game on top of it. So yeah, compared to one of the standard aftermarket cells, you can see the color is quite different. Not just of the wrap, but of the plastic frame too. Um, the plastic frame itself is quite different, um, so it's definitely a unique mold. Now I had, this isn't the first one I've gotten, this is just the first one that I've uh, opened. Let me grab a Game Boy Advance. Let's take a look at this thing. Let's try the right bit, huh? So there's another battery out there. Helder makes these, but makes these bad boys. Um, I actually tested. It says 800 milliamp hours. I actually tested this one. It almost came up to 988. Uh, I have another one of these on the tester. And, well. We'll save that for another. But you notice the uh, problem I'm having here. It doesn't quite fit, does it? Like, I'm, I'm not making this up. It's just, it's a ridiculously tight fit. I can't, I can't get this in. I genuinely cannot get this in. I've had this problem with some other aftermarket cells. Oh, fuck's sake. Um, the solution was to take off this wrap and rewrap it. And I already ran into this issue with my other battery. I haven't rewrapped it yet. I just kind of jammed it in there and hoped for the best. Of course, that doesn't come off easily. It never does, does it? Thanks, Luke. Your battery's perfect. figure this way. Maybe we can explore a little bit. Let's see what's in here. A completely generic cell with no markings whatsoever. Comes out like that. Just like any other SP battery. And, well, I'll give them this. At least there's protection on the PCB itself. Not that it's strictly necessary, but it is always nice to have. Hopefully, I don't short anything out. Yeah. See? Looks like probably a DW01. And I can't read the other one, but nothing, uh, nothing custom. Not that, not that it would need to be. It's pretty generic stuff. Tried and tried and true. Hope that went in the right way. Wrap back on. The 
This time I'm trying to eat up all the slack and make sure it's folded completely taut. This thing isn't perfectly square though, so it's easier said than done. There we go. Still doesn't quite fit, <laughs> but it's better. I feel like now that I've crammed that in there, I'm gonna have a hard time getting it out, but at least it'll be possible. And I mean, it works as expected. Didn't, ex didn't expect to run into any surprises here. Um, <laughs> Let me plug that in. Ta -da. And it charges just fine. But yeah, I'm gonna go do some capacity tests on these bad boys. And no, I'm not. Because the, t the pull tab just Thanks, Luke. That's all I can say. Now I've just got to keep hitting my limited edition Game Boy Advance to get this piece of shit battery out because someone doesn't know how to make a battery that fits. <sighs> Anyway, I am doing a full review on these things. Um, you know what? Hang on, I have an idea. I have a brilliant idea. Be in awe at my brilliance. Sometimes my genius, it's frightening. This isn't gonna work. <laughs> Not with the masking tape, anyway. Yeah. It's not sticky enough. Yeah, I have no idea how to get this out. Short of destroying the battery. Which I don't necessarily want to do, because if my preliminary tests on the other battery are any indication, these are not half bad. Um, obviously, aside from the issue with the fact that you can't get them out of the fucking console once they're in, you know, it's not bad. current idea is to use the knife to bite in, but the plastic tool to pry it, because I don't want to ruin my Game Boy. I have, around here somewhere, a better pry tool. Here it is. This is an iFixit one, as opposed to these cheapo AliExpress specials. I chipped the knife. Nice. That's not gonna work. That's too wide. I genuinely have no idea how to get this out of here. 
Um, I'm actually pissed off enough about this that uh, I'm going to complain to the vendor about this bullshit. Because, sure, it's nice and all, but... I can't take this Game Boy apart with this battery in here. It's impossible. There's a screw underneath that battery. Does the battery cover at least fit? Yeah, it doesn't seem to be bulging. So, well... And this guy had the audacity to call someone else out for having non-replaceable batteries. Whoo! One of two things is going to happen. I'm going to either completely remove this wrap and the battery is going to come out as a result, or two, I'll be able to pry it out from the wrap. Holy shit. All right, so first thing you do when you get one of these batteries is you take this wrap and you rip it the fuck off and off is where it stays. It does not seem to fit easier. I am genuinely afraid to put that in. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to take some masking tape. Basically the same idea I already had. I'm going to put a little tab on it. Jam that in there. That didn't take nearly as much effort to put in. And to remove, it is still too tight to deal. <sighs> My masking tape's gonna rip. I didn't think, I didn't. I didn't think it would be this tight. All right, well, there you go. If you want one of these batteries, just be prepared to never remove it ever again. I genuinely don't know how to get this out now. Because now I don't have a wrap on it to pry under. Oh, you know, I have an idea. I have an idea. I need to peel this up, though. Oh, there we go. I just need more leverage on the pull tab. My plan was to just try and pull the battery cell out of the frame. All right, well, I'm going to go run some tests. I'm not happy about it, but here we are. I'll be back. <laughs>